Today's video is sponsored by thedeckofmany.com. Hey! 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 This one's gonna be a bit gory. And a, and a bit crazy. I'm warning you now. So last we left off, we saw Kinora possessed red panda essentially have a game of chicken with our spell scale on a giant mech dragon that later crashed outside of the city. Woof. You know all that. Well, now let's uh, rewind a bit. You see, while the whole dragon thing in the air was going on, Sips and Arena on the ground, we're also dealing with some shit. As after they see the dragon take off. Oh no, this is good. This is really, really good. They hear a familiar voice shout out in the distance. It's Gathy! <laughs> Finally, someone competent. Gathy, thank God. Did you find her? Did you find Kinora? What about the dragon? What about the dragon? It's fine. These things usually sort themselves out anyway. Did you find her? <sighs> no. Couldn't find her anywhere. Though, Sips, doesn't she most likely have your severed hand? Yeah, probably. She's creepy like that. And don't you have the spell, locate object? God damn it. So I used the spell locate object to essentially locate Sips' severed hand, which we classified as a weapon, in hopes to find Kinora. It's kind of like a radar thing. And pretty much determined that his hand is back at City Hall. Where I just was! <sighs> But this is good. I mean, your goal since the beginning has been to find your severed hand, right? She's right. Sips' goal since the beginning of the campaign has been to find his severed right hand to replace his cursed crocodile hand, cure in the curse. Uh, and I had been caught up so much in the revenge aspect of killing Kinora that I forgot my goal. Okay, let's go kill a witch. We reach City Hall, have a tussle with some guards, then we hear a falling giant mech dragon crash outside the city. They're probably fine. We make our way through City Hall and find a secret door in Kinora's office leading down a winding staircase. <sighs> okay, before we go down there, I want to make some ground rules. First of all, Kinora's mine. You guys can fight her crazy voodoo hand stuff, but I get to kill her. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no complaints here. Second, sneeze, buddy. I know you're eager to murder this woman, but I need you to focus on finding my hand, all right? I know, just this fight's gonna be tough, and I need you to be on the sidelines on this one, okay? <sighs> Look, we'll go to Baskin Hobgoblins for ice cream after, okay? Fine. I'll get you one of her ears. Why do you want one of her ears? We should go. Right. So remember, I call dibs. We leave Jawbone to guard the door and descend down the staircase to find Ta da! <coughs> Kidora! Who quickly spots us? Oh, well. Looks like somebody remembered they had the spell locate object. What? No, I mean, yes? Shut up! I'm, I'm not here to talk. I'm here to kill you. Too bad. I figured out how you can cast magic. I could always share my findings with you. Nope, don't care. And Sips casts another lightning bolt, which goes wild. Oh, this is a good start. Creating a 70-foot permanent wild magic zone. So now everybody who casts any magic has a percentile chance that their magic can go wild. This is technically her fault since she gave me the damn curse. Pathetic. Shifting the blame. Uh, Sips dodges uh, out of the way uh, of her uh, whips. Uh, and the battle is underway. Gothi and Arena attack her voodoo whippy hands as Sips is face to face with Kinora. And for a time, we even look like we're winning. But, there's always a but. While dodging one of Kinora's attacks, Sips rolls a natural one. <sighs> and the full force of Kinora's whip attack at 1d4 times an ungodly amount comes screaming down towards Sips. 
<laughs> then, through the madness coming from the sidelines, Sneeze jumps in front of Sips, taking the full brunt of the blows, saving Sips. Sneeze? What is this thing? Kinor then wraps the whips around Sneeze's neck. Move it. And with one swift move, decapitates Sneeze. Right in front of Sips. You know, those moments you have in D&D where time itself kind of slows down because something you can't believe just happened? Yeah, that's one of those moments as everyone around the table who was laughing and chatting becomes silent and realizes what just happened. <laughs> oh, thank God. What even was that thing? Kangaroo thing, monkey cat. Well, we'll never know now. Look, I know you guys haven't known Sneeze for too long, but he was Sips' best friend. He was like a brother to him, and now his severed head is lying in his lap. And I don't think I ever told you guys what causes Sips' curse to grow. What really triggers it. Stress. Emotional stress. As Sips lets out a blood-curdling scream at the sight of his dead friend, and his curse grows instantly to 50%. You think you've seen Sips mad before? Yeah, you ain't seen nothing. Sips shoots off a spell at Kinora, which turns wild. This is gonna be a lot of wild magic roulette. Which creates a 10-foot deep pit underneath everyone in front of him. Huh. Sips jumps down. First, I was planning to just kill you. But now I see I need to make this hurt. Ooh. Made the monkey mad by killing his pet monkey cat thing. Eh, I'm trying. Sip shoots off another spell, which becomes wild again, ripping a hole into reality, creating a one-way portal to the fire plane. I might use that later. Gothi then also casts a spell at Kinora, which also goes wild. Well, this is new for me. Causing her and Kinora to switch clothes. Uh-uh. Sips then slaps Gothi's mask off of Kinora. Whew. Oh, thank God. I almost gave away some of my plot right there. <coughs> Sips then manages to finally cast a proper spell. Choke. Yes, I know grabbing and smashing Kinora to the back of the wall like some Jedi Force shit. Then he stabs his crocodile hand right into her guts, essentially torturing her as it makes her cry out in agony. Should we, um, should we stop this? Eh, give him ten minutes. <coughs> Five minutes. Maybe, maybe go find his hand. Yep, I said it was going to get gory. And a little crazy. You see, as Sips' curse grows more and more, he becomes closer and closer to uh, chaotic evil. And right now, at 50%, he's fighting for control against the curse. So yeah, he a big crickey right now. You know, I didn't think I could hate you more, but you know, here we are. You take away my hand, you take away my... Kinora laughs. And Sips breaks her arm, which then Kinora keeps laughing. Okay, we can all agree this lady's crazier than I am right now, right? Sips, I can tell you so much. Why you can cast magic, why you're more sentient than a normal awakened creature, what happened that night. Don't care. Don't you want to know your potential, your purpose? Purpose. My purpose is to kill you and to make you feel every agonizing moment of it. Okay, calm down there, edgelord. Damn! Then she starts to mumble some witch doctor hoodoo jibber jabber. Okay, lady, I think we're done here. Then without warning, Sips feels an immense amount of agonizing energy run through his whole body, causing him to scream out in pain. Kinora's chant some voodoo hoodoo about calling upon the god of the second sun or whatever, I don't know. Then she passes out like the little bitch she is. 
Sips grabs his head as it feels like it's gonna burst. You know that really bad migraine you've had before? Yeah, times up by like a thousand as the room starts to crackle with wild magic that just shoots off of his body. His curse slowly starts to creep up and grow 60%, 70%, 80%. If he gets to 100, if he reaches that point, it's probably game over. We don't know what will happen. He could become Kinora's minion or crazy unstoppable crocodile killing machine that has a lot of teeth. A lot of teeth. Either way, it's not good. He's panicking. I'm panicking. Everybody around the table is panicking. Uh, Arena? Time to get Sips's hand. It's not that easy. Just look for a monkey hand. There's a lot of monkey hands. Look for the one flipping you off. Found it. There we go. Further and further, Sips is losing himself and panicking. Did I did I mention the panicking? Arena throws Gothi the hand, who runs up to Sips, slices off his cursed right hand, slams down his original hand, instantly fusing it to his skin. Magic. Then there's silence as the growing of the curse just stops. Then he passes out. Whoop. Yeah, as the source of the curse was now severed, the curse is cured and starts to recede back. Arena then picks up Kinora's unconscious body and throws her right into the one-way portal to the fire plane. Another job well done. You took out all my stuff out of her pockets, right? Like my potions, ingredients, gold. Another job well done. Are you fu- This video is sponsored by thedecomini.com. They make convenient reference cards for 5th edition D&D of monsters, NPCs, conditions, a lot of really cool stuff. And right now, they just launched a new Monster 4 deck so you can kill your party even faster with this and this and I don't, I don't know what that is. Anyway, go check them out and link in the description. Also, I made a shirt.